Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Trello and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you share access to a Trello board? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to share your Trello board anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that it's important to keep up to date on company tasks and Trello is a popular way to do that. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in your Trello account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Trello account and this is the home screen. Now, in order to share a Trello board, first, what you're going to need to do is access your Trello boards. So you can open up your workspace like I have and then click on boards. If you don't see that for some reason, you can click right here on boards as well. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to see your workspaces down here and then you just want to click on the board that you would like to share. So for example, this one right here. Okay, so once you click there, you will be inside of your Trello board and in order to share access, what you're going to do is here on the top right, you're going to see the share button. Go ahead and click on there. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to see all of the board members in your Trello board. You can see it's just me. And in order to share access, all you're going to do is click right here on copy link. Now the link is copied to your clipboard. So you can easily share the link to this Trello board in a text message or an email. You can also add people in by clicking right here. And then you can just type in their email. Once you click in their email, then you're going to click right here on member. Now you can go ahead and choose if they're going to be a member or solely an observer. And then you're going to click on share. Also, as you can see, anybody with the link will be able to access this Trello board as a member. Now, if you pay for the upgraded version of Trello, you can change that. So anyone with the link can actually just view the board, but they can't make any changes. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to share access to one of your Trello boards, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.